वेलकम बैक आर स्पेशल कवरेज कमिंग टू यू हियर फ्रॉम कोलकाता द लास्ट बिग इलेक्शन फाइट ऑफ 2021 द बाय इलेक्शंस ऑफ भवानीपुर ममता बनर्जी वी कैन टेल यू द बिग स्टोरी इज सेट टू विन इट इज नाउ कंफर्म दैट ममता बनर्जी इज वेल अहेड 25000 वोट्स प्लस आफ्टर सेवन राउंड्स सो ममता बनर्जी सेट टू गेट रीइलेक्टेड और गेट इलेक्टेड एज अ Uh, from Bhavanipur as an MLA and thereby her chief ministership is secure remember she had to get elected within 6 months of the elections which she lost in Nandigram in May this year to Shubhendu Adhikari by 1700 votes this time she looks like winning and winning big what does that mean uh, just final words from all our pandas they've been here in the burning sun of Kolkata ahead of puja it appears that the gods have decided enough of the rains time for some sunshine very quickly indrajit uh looks like 25000 leading also we are told in the other two That's so good day in the office for the tmc well good day in the office from the tmc but uh, you know the trinamool congress seemed confident that they are going to win uh, uh, this 3-0 uh, the question of course for the party was what is going to be the margin of victory for mamta banerji and i'm given to understand that trinamool would be happy if they can cross the margin of 40000 uh, because uh, the turnout has been low and that will be well above what the trinamool congress candidate got in uh, just a few months back during the assembly election if you remember uh, that time they won by what uh, 29 29000 uh now it appears 25000 after seven rounds 21 rounds in all so could yeah. be a 50000 plus win so uh, shikha mukaji that would be huge uh that, in that sense would that give mamta banerji the confidence this evening to believe that at least she's now got bengal fully in control absolutely i mean it would mean that uh, bengal is now a pocket borough and therefore with that confidence uh since since 2024 comes before 2026 she's heading out in the direction of the rest of india shishir bajoria of the bjp joins us uh, shishir ji uh, is was this a symbolic fight in babanipur or was it much more than that were you seriously trying to sort of bring down uh, mamta banerji or simply ensure that the margin was respectable well rajdeep let me just quote mamta banerji herself this was no symbolic fight because after all she created she caused this by election only to defend her cm ship she is uh, created a record of sorts in the country by being the first unelected uh, defeated chief minister sitting in the chair but as far as the uh, your question is concerned i quote mamta banerji during the campaign if you do not vote me i will not be your chief minister this is the person who's been chief minister for 10 years in her own home seat by the way rajdeep i am a voter of bhavanipur voters of bhavanipur were not amused when she deserted bhavanipur in uh, in the general elections so as far as um, this uh, fight is concerned bjp fought uh, the elections on democratic lines like we always do as far as tmc is concerned they did not stop at anything including bringing false voters and i can point out police constables were brought in in plain clothes to vote they uh, now if you were sure of the voters why did you do this that's police a very constables serious charge you're making even name which booth that's they a very serious in. charge that is being made yes sir on your channel there, i am there have been there i know is, 85 uh, complaints the election commission rejected the election commission rejected most of those complaints but you're making a serious charge still the fact is riju datta as is being suggested by mr bajoria uh, mamta banerji was according to the bjp desperate to win at all costs in bhavanipur if you are so confident of your of your uh, own constituency a you shouldn't have left it in may and b having left it you should have uh, allowed your uh, your local workers to lead this campaign why do you need to spend so much time in bhavanipur See, like uh, Rajdeep sir, first of all, from and he's light, also claiming constables were disguised, uh, voters were disguised, you know, that, uh, or constables you know, BJ, disguised BJP, as voters. BJP has been a master of using big words, and they have nothing to follow up on it. And be, I believe the Election Commission of India have given a tight slap to them uh, based on all these false allegations and complaints. Their own candidate Priyanka Tibriwal yesterday night posted a uh, wrote a letter to the Election Commission and uh, to other people and posted on social media that I hope. there is no post violence after the results so yesterday
the night itself, they considered defeat. And today, like I told you at 9 o'clock in the morning, Mamta Banerjee is going to win with a margin of 50 plus thousand votes. Now, first, why she go, went to Nandigram? Because Mamta Banerjee is not only a street fighter, she you know, she bats in the front foot with all your ED, CBI, your chief ministers, MPs, everybody campaigning here. Mamata Energy left her home ground. She went to Nandigram. She contested there. And I, the result is still in doubt because it is subjudice. You may call it a loss. I don't yes. think it is a loss. I think we won. It was. It is in the court. So I will not comment on that. She has come back to Bhavanipur because she is the CM. By technicality, she has to become an MLA. She has come to Bhavanipur and the people of Bhavanipur has blessed her on mass. That's why after seven we, rounds, the lead is 25,000 and that, there will be 21 rounds. No, and in a polling of one lakh votes, if she wins with a margin of 50,000 no, plus, no, no, you what expect, can BJP talk about it? No, no, you expect a chief sitting chief minister to win a by-election. I'm not doubting that. I'm saying, did the Thinamool Congress at the end of the day, was there ever a worry, a, a fear that you know, you after Nandigram, we can't take any chances anymore. See, uh, when you have, you have a, if a party who has their uh, government in 18 or more states and their home minister has to come and do door-to-door -door campaign in Bengal, then my chief minister cannot go and campaign and do two road shows. Are we fighting? We are fighting. Sushir Bajoria, you want to respond to that? That, you know, yes, let's be clear, the BJP also yes, sent course. half a dozen union ministers to Bhavanipur. First of all, for Riju Datta, Riju ji, and for all your viewers, she is not just your chief minister or TMC chief minister. That's unfortunately how she behaves. She is my chief minister also. Please keep that in mind. But she does not behave like West Bengal's chief minister. That Even I our chief secretary I, behaves I like TMC's chief that secretary. You admitted and she behaves like your chief minister. Unfortunate. She, uh, she is my chief minister also. Now coming to this point of uh, fighting, Listen, on the day of polls, when the silence period is in operation for 72 hours, on day of poll, three state ministers were seeing on the streets, going everywhere. It's, it, whether our complaint is accepted or rejected, these are all shown on your TV channels. We don't have the wherewithal to show. Your channels have shown. I'm naming the ministers. So Shri half Firad a dozen Hakeem, union ministers were also Bukhati. here. So the, uh, Sorry? Mr. Mr. Bajoria, when is the last time half a dozen union ministers came? When is sir, the last sir, time Rajiv, half a dozen union Rajiv, ministers Rajiv, came for a by election? So the, the BJP sir, had also raised the poll. stakes. Sir, on the day of poll, you're not supposed to enter an area, you're not a voter, you're not supposed I to go around campaigning on day of vote. See, on the day I'll, of I'll voting, the, on the, 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 the polling day, 30th September, this is, there's a silence period. They, they knew that they have to pull all stops. Otherwise, they are losing. So they did it. And yes, the results, she is leading. What you're saying is a fact of life. She is leading by 25,000 votes. These are facts of life. The way she lost in Nandigram is a fact of life. My dear friend is not willing to accept that. He's saying in court, if it is in court and you don't accept it, why are you fighting this election? Why are you fighting? You don't have to be the chief minister. Can Just I give up now, 213 okay. MLAs let, to choose a chief minister. Let, let, let me get one. You know, I didn't want a political mind. slugfest. I didn't want a political slugfest, but as... You know, as as the temperature rises, so do, sir, so does politics very quickly. So do that. I, I just want to say that the three ministers that Mr. Bajoria is naming here, these three ministers are residents of Bhavanipur and voters of Bhavanipur. If these ministers come out in the open in the morning and and just for the sake of it, if they are going to even buy a carton of milk, they will say, oh, they are roaming around in poll areas. No, what no, kind no, of logic is this BJP? No, no, no. These are losers. Excuse Mr. Both sides. Both sides. These are losers. Excuse Mr. Uh, Mr. Hardi Puri came to campaign here. He was doing door-to-door -door campaign. Now, the basic fundamental of door-to-door -door campaign is you go to a door of a resident and you say why you, you want your party, you, that, that person to vote for your party. What will he say about LPG prices? What will he say to a poor person? Why you are putting petrol at 100 rupees. So what is this fiasco? They okay. bought in through chartered flights 12 ministers. And what is the result? 25,000 plus in seven rounds. You know, and... So they need to understand okay. that they have lost Bengal. Okay. I have just about a minute left. So I'll get Indrajit and uh, Shikha to give final words. 
Indrajit, what next? Are we going to see more high drama in Kolkata in, in the months ahead? Are the battle lines going to be even fiercer in your view? Well, absolutely. And we don't have to wait for long. 30th October is uh, the next, the round, next, of the next round of bipoles in Bengal. And uh, the stakes would once again be higher. And, uh, you know, you have both these political parties. The BJP, of course, doesn't take a single election lightly. And that's the election management of the BJP. What seems to have happened, of course, with the new TMC, as I said, under Abhishek Banerjee, is that they are also they have also taken a leap out of the BJP's maybe Modi Amit Shah's book. So, so two two powerful juggernauts. Absolutely. Okay. Shikha, two determined jug juggernauts out to uh, score points against each other. The the points that they're trying to score are nothing. I have uh, have something to do with the local situation, uh, winning a local election. Right. But this is also a perception that Mamta Banerjee and the BJP are trying to. Uh, build about a face-off. So, so Bengal today, 2024 Delhi. We'll wait and see. Is Mamta Banerjee really going to try and emerge as a national challenger to Narendra Modi in 2024? Well, one thing is clear. 2021 has gone to Mamta. You cannot deny. Whichever way you look at it, this round in Bengal, both what's happened today, but more crucially what happened in May, has gone to Mamta Banerjee, barring that blip in Nondigram. But is that enough? Can regional leaders really, or Mamta as a Bengal leader, really go beyond Bengal is a big question mark. Others have tried in the past and they've all failed. Mamta herself has never really succeeded in going beyond Bengal. Will 2022 and the build-up to 2024 be any different? We'll wait and see. But for now, from a scorching hot Kolkata, the rains have gone. The sunshine is here. In a week from now, Durga Puja will be celebrated at this pandal and many others. Observe COVID protocols. But for now, stay well, stay safe. Bye for now. Namaskar. Happy Sunday.